I advertise for volunteers to come and stay at my isolated mansion. Perhaps for a bit, perhaps forever. My name is Dr. Lovett, and this is my asylum. Somebody's ordered a pizza and they're not claiming it. And you should be interested in my experiment here. Simon, imagine a painter and decorator being surrounded only by Renaissance art. Or a politics graduate and allowed them only to watch daytime television. A bug-eyed bank clerk and allowed him only to listen to Lenny Bruce records. How about a flamenco singer made to take a vow of silence? Well, that sounds interesting. One question. Uh, how do you stop them from leaving? He's a delivery boy. And another costume. Never trust a plainclothes man carrying a carry bag. Basically, um, I'm here because, um, because I know too much. Uh, I know the capital of Belgium. I know how to make popcorn so it doesn't burn. I know all the words to Madonna's Holiday. And they're, they're just they're running scared. They've sent several um, envoys. They're purporting they were all poisoned. Like the food here. I can't eat the food here because it's all poisoned. Um, the only thing I can eat are uh, uh, the mini rolls and um, fish fingers. Mini rolls because you can't get poisoned with a wrapper. And fish fingers because you can't, you can't poison fish, uh, luckily. So I just sort of survived day to day by sort of sucking the moisture out of the fish fingers. Um, they put a sleeping drug in television so that whenever I'm watching Shortland Street, I, I just fall asleep like that. Mm. So how's our Simon the Pieman today? Has he had his tablets? Yeah, I think he might be stockpiling them actually. I think he might be trying to top himself. I don't know whether you want him to or not. We're all right for beds, aren't we? Yeah. Right, let him live. Okay. There was another Victor incident as well. I caught him publicly flogging Adam. Have you ever seen that, Doctor? Quite sight. So what had Adam done? Um, he called him thin. Thin? You're thin? Yeah, I know it's not very strong, but it's quite sensitive, Doctor. But like you. How did he say it? Said, you're thin. Like that. Did he point? I can't remember. So how are the uh, inmates getting on with the art therapy? We used to paint. No constructive results? Overslept. Couldn't be bothered to come in, so I don't know. <laughs> I think we might have to reassign the jobs around here. Yes. Get them to do our washing. Get them to do their washing. And they need something more stimulating, like library duties, perhaps, or something like that. I don't know. I like to ride you like a donkey. Sorry? <laughs> Sorry. Miles away. Um, library duties. Right, yeah. Good idea. Excuse me? Hmm? In the librarian? No, I'm Pom Pom the Dancing Horse. Of course I'm a librarian, you balmy twat. And what sad little pornographic thriller is it you want today then, hmm? The Bosom Connection? Dorothy's Tiny Panties? Hmm? The Pop-Up Book of Knobs? Hmm? Just wanted a book on sewing. Because I could do some new material. Oh, God! Seize him! His tiny mind offends me. These are the greatest works of literature, you dribbling ponce. a book in alphabetic spaghetti on toast um, so I'd obviously I'd touch that quite tomato with fingers but that's all right um, they do give me um, a pen and paper if I want one but I just think it's more of a challenge um, I mean, my dad once made me <laughs> once made me crunch 63 humbugs very very rapidly in succession because I laughed too loudly when my sister farted at the dinner table but it's quite a funny fart it was like one of those <laughs> so it's quite funny I didn't think there was anything wrong with it but I crunched them all and all my teeth fell out <sighs> but you know I didn't mind I believe in tough love 
But I've got an idea, actually. Well, I've got several ideas. One of my ideas I'm going, I'm going to show you is an idea I've got about um, everybody getting on a lot better. What I think you should do is separate England up into little sections of people into likes and dislikes. So, say, say in Folkestone, it's kind of, so I've chosen it carefully. In Folkestone, you have all the people who like to eat salt and vinegar quavers, um, like fell running, and say, question of sport, living in Folkestone. That was quite, quite good. Then you'd have people who like this morning um, shopping for knickknacks and say knickknacks the crisp knickknacks in in say sort of gloucester and then you wouldn't have so many arguments people get on a lot better you know i said i said earlier didn't i, I said i said all my teeth fell out didn't I? I, that it wasn't it wasn't a lie it wasn't so much a lie it wasn't so much a lie as a lie it was a lie i was lying it didn't fall out at all oh Get up, stop it, you'll do it with your greasy fingers. Everything all right, Julian? Victor, I'm Victor. Julian's gone to bed, he buys. Everything all right, Victor? No, I'm surrounded by scum and intellectual pygmies. The reason there's a library here in the first place is a mystery to me. The money would have been better spent on whores and monkeys. Everybody likes to read. Bit of escapism, isn't it? They should be disemboweled and made to read their own guts. You've decided you're not up to librarian duties, Victor. You're going in the kitchen. Me? Victor Monroe in the kitchen? Flaying the potato from morn till night? I won't do it! I won't do it! I won't do it, I tell you! I won't do it! <laughs> Where did you get that? I made it. I studied the ancient art of origami gun making, and I've folded a pistol out of purest prose. This is an origami 45. <laughs> the most powerful poetry in the world. It's made of paper. What are you gonna do? Pump me so full of words I'll turn into a paragraph. Ha! <laughs> Think again, scum rider! This is a siege. I will not release my hostage until my demands are met. All right, all right, don't worry. We'll sort something out. See you later. Bye. As a cab driver said to John McCarthy, Oi, shouldn't you be in the boot, mate? Shut up. Now, first, first put the hostage's finger in an envelope. No, you idiot. Gotta cut it off first. How am I supposed to send it to them with an enormous fetus-eyed fool attached to it? Out of all the stamps. Anyway, you got this all wrong. Look, I'm a hostage. I should be upstairs, gagged, wrapped in double-sided sticky tape. You should be by the river. Tell me. Mi have you ever been skinned alive and made to break down some sand? No. But if it helps, I don't mind peeing in that bottle. Oh. No, really, it's not a problem. You disgusting dwarf. Oh, no, get off. Not I don't bottle. want to see that shriveled... Dis oh, oh, my God, I'm blind. I've seen the face of the... 